good morning. We are down here at the beach. It's really sunny behind me, so I'm gonna turn so you can actually see me. But uh, it is Memorial Day and getting ready to do some fishing for just a little while until the beach gets too busy and uh, hang out with a family later. But um, I've got some bait that's new to me. It's uh, salted clams that I'm gonna try. So I'm excited to get that on there and see how that works for me. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot the vest that I usually wear the camera on, so it's gonna be on the tripod today and uh, we're gonna see what happens. I got three lines, I got about an hour and a half. Let's see what I can catch. Okay, I'm learning all about this equipment. So we're still in the testing stages. So I discovered that the receiver that comes on me to be wireless, that actually has to be charged too. There's so many different parts that has to be charged. So that has lost power. That's probably why my sound wasn't working the other day because as soon as I turned it on, it would turn back off. So I'm gonna move this camera closer to uh, my cart. We're just gonna have to turn it this way and that way and I'll have to come back and talk to you. And then you can watch what's going on from a distance and hopefully pick up some of the sound. So on this line, I've got, I've got just a uh, shrimp, fish bites, with salted shrimp. On the other two, I've got fish bites and beads, but I've got the uh, native salted clam. One of them has pink, one of them has orange. We're gonna see which one of them does better. It's a cool thing. I found a sand flea right in front of me. It's sitting there next to my line. So he's gonna go on the next pole that goes out. this little guy just crawling on the beach. When do you ever find sand fleas? Because they just are having a leisurely stroll along the beach. Not me. We gotta dig for them, especially lately. We've had to dig and dig and dig to find them. And here comes this little guy just taking a little Memorial Day stroll on the beach. So he's gonna be bait. Alright, so that little sand fleet clued me into their activity right now. So I've got this pointed down. Hope you can see the sand. You see this little divot here. And there was a sand flea there. I've got about oh, oh, they're trying to climb out of my hands but I got I got a little bunch of them here. So they're not colonies right now. 
they're just individual ones that are just chilling in the sand. There we go. Oh, I think I got one here. Yep. So this is really there he goes. I, I've never seen them act this way where they're just just singled out, but we're gonna got him take my sandals out. And the scissors, don't worry dudes, I won't cut you. And uh yay, we're getting some live bait. Now these guys are a little bit bigger. This this is probably the perfect size right here that you want. Especially if you're looking for pompano. It's not too big. This this one's probably a little too big. But there's other fish that could bite on it. So um, nice. I'm gonna reel in, I'm gonna take those native salted baits off and we're gonna use these sand fleas. So um, my husband saw this jerk real quick and then kind of stopped. So see if something's on here or not. This is the one with the shrimp. The only one that's gotten any bites, so. I just threw out two sand fleas on another rig. I'm taking the salted clam off. It's just not working today. Oh, I got something on here. So we may not have had the best luck fishing today, but we did learn a few things. I learned about my equipment and what I need to do to better prepare to be on the beach to have things charged up and, and what needs to be charged up. We took a look at some sand fleas and uh, found out some of their behavior and how it's different than normal. And so now you know what to look for a little bit more when you go down to the beach looking for live bait right on the beach. So uh, until next time, Hope you have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time, fishing girl.